Hello and welcome to another session of ICT lesson and today we want to look at how we can have multiple number of tables and make re different reports from these tables in any success and it is important to take note that a database simply represents an organization or any business entity it can be profit making or non profit making and today I'm going to use an example of a school and I'm going to explain to you why it is necessary to have more than one table sometimes in a database. Let me take a scenario where I have one database and this database is for a school. It is important to separate some information from others especially in a school setup a good example here is if this is a school database i am going to create one table for student information only and another table for library so here i can have a table and in this table i'm going to store only information about students so i can call it student table okay this becomes students table now i might need a separate table to store information about the books in that school and in that case I will create another table and this table I can call it maybe library and it will contain information about books so in the second table you can call it uh, maybe library table so you can see database is one but since the information about books may not be related to information about students it was necessary for us to create two separate tables i will go ahead and start my success When access has loaded, I'm going to click blank database and give this a name. Let me call this school database. I will choose location, maybe desktop for this database and I will click create. inside the database i'm going to modify this table one by giving it a different name i will call it students then in the design view i am going to specify the columns or fields for this table the first one I can have here registration number which I want to be primary key because there is no way we can have two registration numbers here which look similar I'm going to change this uh, data type to number the second field I will have first name of a student. I'll use short text. Last name. That can be short text. And I can have class where the student belongs. I can take this as a number. 
once I have confirmed the primary key is okay I'm going to save this table and then I will switch to datasheet view so that I'm able to put information in the table assuming I have 101 as my first student call Oscar Milton in class 5 102 Diego of class 6 then 105 uh, Patel Shah of class 7 so this is the information in my student table I am going to close it here and you can see here on the left pane it is showing you the table I will go ahead and create the second table to do that I will just click create then I will cli click table design then in the table design I will write my first field of course that must be a primary key so I will write uh, book ID of data type short text because I want it to contain alphabets and number then I will right click this first field and make it primary key meaning we won't be having two books with the same book ID number and I will have here title of the book of type short text then uh, author of that book short text then date bought that is the date this book was bought and this one will be of type date and time then finally I will have quantity or number of copies of these books copies then this must be a number like that so I will go ahead and save this table and give it a name library then I will click OK now I will switch to datasheet view here so that I enter information in the library table you can start B001 and maybe that that book is science today science today written by Robert Gordon and it was bought in 24th March 2018 and written by Charles Lambert bought in January 11th 20 here I have five copies 15 and 10 copies so you can now see this is the second table of the database you can close it here and save the changes so now in my database school I have how many tables to library and student next I'm going to show you how to create reports a report is a format of data 
in printable way assuming I want to make a report for library books uh, I will first double click it here from the list when it shows here in this window I just click create then click report now you can see the report has been generated I can format it by dragging the edges of each column so that it fits between these two margins of the print printable area like this I can even go ahead this page number bring it in and let it fit within the margins number of items in the report is here I can go ahead and modify this title by calling it library library books I can click this text box and come to home and format this uh, text to red and make them bold I can select these titles press down control as you select and make them blue color and bold so that the final report looks beautiful then if I, when I'm done I can close then when it asks for a name I just call it library report report then save it then I can close that table for student I will open the student table come to create report I will go ahead and click the title and change it to student student list can make the title bold just click home bold and red color like that make all these titles press control select the titles and make them bold like that service call it student list or stu student list and click ok so you can see I have two tables and two reports the advantage of this report is each time information is added in these tables the information is reflected automatically in the library reports or student report let's check our library report now you can see I have only three books here and now if I open my library table I have three books so assuming today we buy another book and we add it to the list uh, let me call this ICT hardware and it is written by Oscar Adams on 17th September assuming we bought four copies so you can see additional record about book has been added in the library table so when I save this and close when I go to my library report 
I'm expecting it to have been updated to four books. When I open it, we can see automatically my report is also updated with the fourth book. That is how useful the database reports are. They are dynamic and they are updated automatically when the information in the table changes. That is all that I have for today. Thank you for participating. See you next time. Bye-bye.